Hello everyone, this is Linda. Welcome to Lenny P's Place. Um, I have a haul from Joann's that I would like to show you. I was in Virginia at my daughter's uh, weekend, be well, not this past Saturday, but the Saturday before. And um, we went to Joann's and they were having a sale and um, I think I must have got there right at the end of it because there wasn't a whole lot of... Uh, beads and charms and stuff left. I mean, it was pretty much picked over. But I managed to find a few things. Um, they were having a really good, really good sale. And so, um, all of the Hildy and Joe stuff like this, like all of these, they were, they were anywhere from 4 to $13. And they had them on sale for $3.99 a piece, no matter what what they cost um, as long as it didn't go over I think it was $12.99 anything under $12.99 was on sale for $3.99 so I did buy a few things more than I needed but I bought them anyway um, so I'll show you those and uh, I'll start with these charms like I said, a lot of stuff was picked over. I, there was not very much blue, and I really wanted some blue things. But I wonder if I turn my light on if you can see better. I'm not sure if that helps. It's almost dark outside. Um, but I found these, and I thought these were pretty. And um, I did find these in blue. And then I found these I thought was pretty. But they're mostly, um, I guess, like an opal. That one's really pretty. That's a kind of a topaz look to it, I guess. And um, here's some more charms. These just have stuff written on them. And then I got the al some alphabets. Um, charms and I got this pendant which says and only you hold the key does it say anything on there I didn't really read it uh, life is life is a journey I think that's all. So I got that. Um, I got this pretty pen. Very blingy. I'll probably take this off and not have that on there. Um, I also got this one. And all these were $3.99. And that one, which I think is very, very pretty. Um, my phone's ringing, but don't pay attention to it. It's probably just my afternoon call from the from the uh, surveyors for po for po politics now. Now these were uh, two fifty a piece, and I got a clear one. I got this red and white. I wanted a blue and white one, but they didn't have any left. Um, this I thought was very pretty. And this blue one. And then I got these, and they were $2.50 a piece also. I got this pink one. It's got little flowers in it. Not sure you can see those, but. And then there's the blue. And then I got these, and they're so, so cute. The little bees. See the little bees? And then I got these, this, uh, these 
this these beads to go with that little bees. So that was all of my uh, bits from the jewelry department at or the bead department rather at Joann's. Then I got a couple of trims and only got like a yard of each. They were on sale. I got this gold and I really liked this, um, this one. See all the dangles on it? I think you can see it. And this one. And let's see. Um, oh yeah, and then I got a few, some fabrics. I got this, and it was a little, a little pricey, but, I mean, it was like $49 for a yard, but I, um, it was 60% off, and I only got a third of a yard, so I think I paid $6 for the, oh, I'm showing you the wrong side, I think I paid $6 for the for the third of a yard that I got but I really loved it I thought it was so pretty and I wanted it so I got this and a third of a yard is plenty we don't use that much um, so there's that and then I all of these are a third of a yard also because we just don't use enough to I mean I don't use enough to buy anything more than a third that's plenty enough for whatever I might want to use it for. So I got this. And I got this one. I think I got it upside down. Turn it around this way. Um, And I didn't get them for any particular reason. I just liked them and got them. I got this uh, sewing theme, which I think is so cute. Soft colors. Um, I'm thinking I might use this to, for the cover of my Stitch the Seasons uh, book that I'm going to use to put my Stitch the Season pieces in. Then here's another one that's... Uh, sewing themed but it's a lot brighter it's a lot brighter so and this I might use this well it would have I think it would have made a, a more a prettier fall than spring so maybe I won't use this I thought about using this for my spring um my spring piece, but maybe not. Um, I might just save that for another time. And I got this. Don't ask me why, but I thought someday, because I have a few um, fabrics that are more geared towards male than female. And I thought perhaps one day I might make a uh, journal for, for my son and if I did then I wouldn't want to use uh, you know um, girly fabrics so I saw these and so they'll go good with the other ones that I have already gotten so in case I decide later to make him a journal no he doesn't I don't think he really cares about one but I don't know I just might want to make a male journal then I got this, which this I might use as the base for my spring piece. I haven't looked in my uh, stash of fabrics yet to see exactly what I have. So I think I might. She gave me some extra. I don't know. She said she did, but this is a bad piece on this side. But whatever, it's enough um, for what I need. I haven't looked yet to see what I have a lot in as far as my spring pieces. I mean, what I have that might be f for spring. So I'm going to look through my fabrics 
If I don't come across anything, then I'll probably use that. At least some of it. Um, was that it? Was that all I got? Oh, I found these on sale, so I got them. These little birds. They cute little appliques. And then this one. So that is my haul. That's all that I have to show you. I already showed my thrifty stuff that I got while I was there. So yeah, this is it. So I will just um, say thank you for stopping by, spending a few minutes and seeing what I got. And um, I hope you'll be safe, be well, be happy, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you later. Bye for now.